Hey screen printers, it's Ryan here with Ryanet. In this instructional video on screen printing, we're going to show you how to splice together or tape together films for larger images. This for instance is an all over print, but this was done with just a 13 by 19 Epson 1430 printer. Let's jump into it guys. First but obvious, if you have an image that has a center line or a dividing line like we see here in this pillow print, definitely splice or separate at that line makes life a whole lot easier. Second thing when you're taping film is make sure you're taping to the non-inkjet receptive so your film always has your inkjet face up side. If you tape to that side you're actually going to leave a residue of tape on that film which is nasty and can actually affect your image adversely. So to tape this film we're going to simply flip it over. We're going to line it up accordingly and then we're going to use some clear scotch tape just on the edges there to tape. That's pretty simple, but the key is splice in the sections that don't have any print on them and then tape on the back. For a more complex splice, what we're going to do is we're actually going to take our scissors and your film printer never prints to the edge of the film. So we're going to take our scissors and we're going to cut to the edge of the film like, like so so that we don't have an overhang of film. We're cutting to the very edge. The second thing is, is that we actually overprint the image. So the way we print the image in the computer is we print it so that we can overlay the film. So we actually have dual part of the image right here. So we have the underneath of Washington's mouth and we have his whole mouth right here. So we're overlapping about, let's say, an eighth of an inch. Then we simply overlay the image and line everything up. Once again, we're going to do this from the back side, not the front side. So you can see how this lines up. I hold that there. If I got that lined up on that side, so make sure that's lined up perfectly there. Tape that. Now it's okay to have the overlap right here because this part's not actually touching the screen. This is going to be the part that's against the vacuum blanket or the foam. They make sure everything else is lined up here. And you kind of have to, you know, film doesn't always print perfectly, so you kind of have to line it up and maybe hold it in place. Use a little bit more tape, not just two pieces, and tape it. A couple of different spots there. Sweet. Now let's take a look at the front of that. So front of that, you got perfect line. We can see the mouth right there. Everything's good to go. And that's a couple tips and tricks on printing film using a smaller inkjet printer, whether it's a 13 by 19 printer or 8.5 by 14 printer, and then creating a bigger image accordingly. One final thing to note is try to limit the amount of detail on your film if you're splicing your films together. I've known some people that have successfully done this with halftones, but it is very, very difficult. We hope you found this instructional video helpful, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more awesome screen printing videos, guys. Have a great day.